New tonight at 6, a Green Acres teen wonders every day whether he'll be able to walk, see, or even hear. He lives with a disorder that robs him of so much of his life, and yet Caleb Johansson and his family refuse to give up. After months on a wait list, it's finally time for him to go to Utah for a life-changing treatment, but insurance won't cover it. So the community is stepping up to make sure this teen lives the life he's been dreaming of. Ariana Lake joins us with the 4 News Now exclusive. Ariana. Well, yeah, there's a fundraiser happening right now in downtown Spokane at Bridge Press Cellars. People are already filling in for live music. And after you get to know a little bit more about Caleb, you'll see exactly why everyone wants to be behind him and help him get down to Utah. Every strum I see storms in your eyes. helps Caleb and Jenna Johansson forget the pain of an unfair diagnosis. Music is one of our favorite things to do together. We play and he harmonizes. Music is Caleb's escape from the rare neurological disorder that at any moment could take control. It's one of the most debilitating things that I've seen. This is his reality. I think it's worse at night, but um, stop it. Doctors diagnose Caleb with conversion disorder. His body turns emotional and psychological stress into a physical response. I've seen him lose complete use of every single muscle in his body and only be able to just blink at me. He's gone blind, deaf, even lost control of his limbs. Over the years, he's learned how to limit the symptoms. It's exhausting. Um, I'm essentially fighting a mental battle in my head all day. That's why he wants to go to Provo, Utah, where doctors at Cognitive FX can map his brain and tailor treatment. I'm just so happy to watch him have a chance of being normal. Insurance won't cover it, though. So his family is counting on the generosity of our community, praying they won't have to push back treatment again. Try not to think about it. <laughs> um, you know, just, um, I think because I really, I choose to hope for him, and I choose to fight for him, and just to try and find a solution. This is his chance be when I'm with you. to strike a new chord in his life. I can hardly imagine how helpful it would be. Special family, such a special, such a special young man that we are talking about here tonight. I'm here with the owner of the winery here, Drew. Now, why did you guys decide to, to raise money for Caleb? Well, we all work in the, in the medical industry, and it's just, it's a great family. They come down and support us, and they're, um, it's just a great cause, really. Um, uh, I just feel bad. I have a son named Caleb, and we, uh, I couldn't only imagine so going through that as a family. So we wanted to support him and kind of uh, give back to people that support us as well. So we just hope he can get down to Utah and get the treatment he needs. Oh, absolutely. I think we can all relate to that feeling, that, yeah. that drive to help a kid especially. So we have live music tonight, yeah. great wine being poured. Yeah, so we have Haley Young and the Boss Me Band playing tonight. They're an award-winning band in Spokane. And then a portion of all the proceeds tonight we're going to donate to Caleb's uh, uh, medical fund awesome. and then hopefully people come down and support and donate and just have a good time. Yeah, thanks for taking time to be here with us. A couple other coffee shops are actually donating all weekend long. We have those on our website. I think we're bringing them up on the screen or they were already on the screen for you. So you can find all of this information too at KXOY.com. Live music here at Bridge Press Cellars in downtown Spokane starts in about 15 minutes. We'll see you down here, Aaron. Sounds like an awesome cause. Ariana, thank you.